Good morning, Muesli. Everybody wants to see you in the vlog. How do you feel about that? Yeah, she doesn't care. So mm -hmm. I need to get myself ready to shoot. Mm -hmm. um, Mum and Tara are coming this afternoon and you have to tiny and then get the studio ready. I'm on it. I'm going to set up the podcast section. Yes! Oh, I'm also okay. Yeah? I have picked a winner for the MacBook giveaway. Oh, cool! I'm not going to reveal it yet. I'm going to reveal it at the end of this. It means you're going to have to watch the whole video. <laughs> you, you're committed now. You're in. <laughs> So this is the last piece of the puzzle with Pierce Studio. This bit is for me though. This is the best podcast setup you've ever gonna see. Let's do this. Excuse the mess, I haven't done my laundry. So the plan is that Pierre is gonna use this area here to do her makeup and I'm gonna take the table that you may have seen behind Pierre right here and I'm going to set it up as a kind of a podcast area. I figured that seeing as we've got these soundproofing stuff, which is really good, that we should probably just make a podcast on the days that we're not vlogging. Um, maybe you'll like it. The awkward thing about this whole situation is, yes, this is Pia's studio, but also, <laughs> this is my wardrobe, so I've got to do the laundry first before anything else. I'd like to say my mum's probably not very happy with the way I'm folding my pants, but I don't think anyone's mum would be that impressed with the way I've done this. So if you like podcasts or are interested in maybe seeing what our podcast is going to be like, make sure you click the subscribe button in the description below. I'm having a bit of an issue because I've got, well I've actually got three of these microphones and my mixer can have one output. I'm very confused how to set this up. So this is the Rode Procaster that I'm going to be using. It's really good, like it's a, it's a beast of a, probably not meant to do that to microphones, but it's a beast of a microphone. And the Rode mics have always been amazing for me with, uh, with vlogging, so I figured that it would be cool to stay in the family. So I'm not really sure the best way to do this because this mixer that I bought, it's quite cheap. It was like 200 bucks, um, which means it's got pretty limited functionality. So whilst it has got 12 inputs in, I also, don't think it has more than one input out. It maybe has stereo out, but definitely not 12 outputs. What I want to do with the mics is have all the mics going into this, this desk thing. And then let's say, for example, Pia laughs too loud or talks too quiet or something. I want to be able to mix that so that when we put the podcast up, everything's cool. But I'm not sure this mixer can do it because it seems to only have one output. Either way, it's just a good start, right? I know that I'm going to get a million questions about this, so I will link everything that I've got from Rode and the mixer in the description below. All right, we are done here. Look up here. Right, so we're tidied up here and now Pia's got dressed finally and we've got to take a photo for woman's best. Look at how much stuff we have. <laughs> this is ridiculous. I know. Perfect. I'm honestly thinking maybe I should just stand here with the cupboard in the background. Look at this, right? So a normal photographer holds their camera like this so they can see what they're photographing. But when you're working with an Instagrammer, they know what they want. So I have to hold the camera like this and I'm shooting blind so that she knows what she looks like so that she gets the photo. I'm literally a glorified tripod. That's what she said. <laughs> I'm just not a good enough model. Imagine if a beer brand gave me a load of beer and said pose like that and just hold a beer. <laughs> wink, wink. Oh, we got a photo. Check this out. 
What a winning shot. We've now got 21 minutes before her mum arrives. We've still got one more shot to do, and this one's quite complicated. It's for a watch company called Daniel Wellington. They make really good watches, but they're very, their brief on how they want their photos is, is very, um, very specific. I wore my backwards cap here now, and now I have to take another photo, and now I have like a dent on my head. Also, I'm cold, and I don't think it's a good idea for me to be so cold when I'm still sick. For as long as I've known Pia, she's never had an actual flu. Like, she gets the cold sometimes, but she never ever has the flu. Oh. I've had flu a couple of times, and it's like, what you know, that debilitating sort of flu. That's what she had for the first time in our relationship, and it was... It was kind of funny to watch her realise the pain that I go through as a man. Yeah, as a man? Yeah. Why? Man flu? <laughs> well, it's pretty bad. We now have 19 minutes until her mum arrives. Ah, stop! She Crushing. still hasn't changed into the clothing that she's meant to be wearing. So I'm going to wear this little lacy bra, I'm going to wear it under a black silk blouse, and then I'm going to have this really unbuttoned so you can see this through it. Put some gold necklaces on, a couple of gold rings, and because the watch is all black urethane, you see? You feel? I'm just gonna take the photo. I like having a beard because it gives me a little bit of contrast in my face, otherwise I look like a big brown potato. On Instagram, I put on my Instagram stories, shall I have a beard? And 100% of people said yes. Literally 100%. Really? Yeah. So this is a really difficult job for us because it's, let me explain, it's a watch company, right, called Daniel Wellington. And what they need is the watch face showing and clear without reflection. So you can still read the word Daniel Wellington on the watch, which makes perfect sense. That's a legitimate request. It's just difficult when watches are inherently quite shiny. So even if the whole pose and everything in the photo is great, it might be that we get the best photo, but appears like this, and then we've got to move it like one millimeter so that the reflection's different so I can actually see that. But to see if you can read the word on a watch face through a camera viewfinder is really difficult. That there. No, no, just have to do this. We have success. Yes. <laughs> While Pia goes to get her mum, I'm going to finish setting up my drone so I can fly it inside. Really should be reading the instructions on this because I have no idea what I'm doing. Alright, so this is my maiden flight flying the drone in the house. I've got the propeller guards on and I am actually going to put it onto, um, it's called tripod mode, which basically means that when I move this, even if I move it a lot, it will really move slightly because I just don't want to risk. I just can't afford to break those lights because they're really nice and I don't know, I don't even know how to replace them if I do break them. So the plan is to fly the drone around the lights in tripod mode. As much as I love DJI, they have the worst app in the world. Like I use this thing so regularly and I can never find any of the settings that I want. Babe, you need to probably take this with my hand because I think I'm about to drop it. Oh my goodness! <laughs> so we had so many entries for this MacBook giveaway. Thank you so much for taking part in it. And we thought to make sure that it's completely fair and there's no bias or personal preference, we're actually going to pick it using like a random, it's a website that randomly picks one of the comments. Okay, so it's going to load all the comments and at the end it's going to give me the opportunity to choose one of them randomly. Ooh, who's oh, this? Right. Kayla Vissa. So she wrote, I would love to win the MacBook as it would be really helpful for school. I turned my notifications on as well. My Instagram is Kayla Vissa. Lots of love from Ireland. Notification <laughs> squad. Yeah, go That's Kayla. Like. <laughs> I'm glad she turned notifications on. That's good. Well, you have to turn it on to win. Yes. <laughs> and this is going to help you with school this year. So I hope you love your brand spanking new MacBook Air. And for everybody else that didn't win this time, honestly, we had such a great response on this. So we had so much fun. We're going to do another one next month. So to make sure that you don't miss out on that, make sure you turn on post notifications. And for now, I think we're going to say goodbye. And uh, if you want to leave something in the comments about why Pierre is wearing a Pharrell hat, please. <laughs>